Words appear. Whose blind life is it anyway? In association with Sterling Creation and VIP Tech Production present Ask Donna. Donna Jordan answers your questions and offers you tips and tricks on being an author, an expert, a sight loss coach, and an advocate. Ask Donna, the author. Greetings, everyone. My name is Donna Jodhan, and uh, I am pleased to be with you for another week. And I thank my good friend and associate, Victor Guvia, for giving me the wonderful opportunity to be with you. You know, my intention is to make things entertaining, interesting, and informative for all listeners. And that means that I wear a different hat every week. And for this week, I'm going to wear the hat as an author. Last week, I wore the hat as an advocate. So let's talk about me, the author. I have been an author since the mid-1990s, and I have written all kinds of different things. Anything from articles, blogs, editorials. I am an audio mystery writer. And I have really, really enjoyed everything that I have written. Sometimes people don't really like what I write, and that's fine, you know. Opinions are very important, and feedback, suggestions, and comments are always, always welcomed. I will tell you that the most fun that I have had as an author is that of being an audio mystery writer, and you know why? It gives me the opportunity to imagine, to wake up my creative juices, and to be able to put myself outside of the box and write about all kinds of suspense, drama, mystery, fiction, and I really, really enjoy fiction. Now, if you have a few minutes and you wanted to have a listen to samples of my audio mysteries, you can go to my website at www.donnajohnham, that's one word, dot com, and visit my online store. So that's www.donnajohnham.com and have a listen to my samples. I have written three Um, seasons of Crime Crusher series. It's under the heading of Detective DJ and the Crime Crushers. And I have also written a 12 Days of Christmas box set. I have plans to write a second and third Christmas box set series. And I intend to start work on this as soon as I can and hopefully finish it by the end of the year. So what is being an author all about? It's all about being able to create, to innovate, to come up with ideas that would be interesting, informative, and entertaining for your audience. But you've got to know who your audience is before you embark on any of this. What I'm going to do this week is leave you with a tip It's all about a snowy's winter day. And you may think that, oh my goodness, a snowy's winter day is very blah. And how can you really use a snowy's winter day to spark your imagination, to, you know, and your creative juices? Once you know how to do it, it's like riding a bicycle or being on skates or being on skis. Trust me when I tell you this. As an audio mystery writer, I've been writing since 2010. And I'm pleased to share with you that many of my episodes have gone worldwide. And I don't see why you couldn't do the same. 
even for your blogs and your editorials and your articles. Why not give it a try? So back to the snowy winter's day. Think of what a snowy winter day is all about. Okay. A snowy winter's day has things such as really enticing the sense of smell, the sense of taste, and the sense of touch. With regard to the sense of smell, you can certainly go out there on a snowy winter day and smell the fresh, exuberant air. Trust me when I tell you there are smells in the air from a fresh, cold breeze just going, you know, like wandering across your cheeks and whistling through your hair. Those smells, the smell of, of freshness is what will encourage you to spark your creative juices, expand your mind, and, you know, start your imagination going. With regard to the sense of taste on a snowy winter day, and I will address that in a future episode with you as an author. Think of it like this. Sense of taste. What do you taste on a snowy winter's day? Comfort food, of course. And warm, warm food, drink, beverages. That can really wake you up and get you going. Sense of touch. Believe it or not, folks. You can go out there and touch the cold snow and you will know what? It would give you a jerk reaction to start thinking of what can you write about? Sense of touch, snow, even ice, even touching your skates or your skis will help you out. But you know what? I'd like you to read my January author's tips. And if you go to www.sterlingcreations.ca slash askanauthor.html, you will see my January episode there, plus episodes from my archives going way back. I really want to encourage you to be an author, whether it's to write articles, blogs, short stories, editorials, newsletters, even to write audio mysteries. I write and produce audio mysteries and it's tons and tons of fun. Think of it of not just for yourself, but you're bringing tons of fun to others and you're also bringing information to others. Okay? So, if you'd like to contact me to learn more, please do so by writing to me at Donna Jodham at gmail.com that's d-o-n-n-a j-o-d-h-a-n at gmail.com or give me a dingle at 416-491-7711 I hope you enjoyed my episode today I thank Victor once more for having given me this chance to be with you you have a nice day, and I will see you next week. Bye for now. Record. Stop. Button. Tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 a.m. Pacific, for Ask Donna on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway? <laughs>